All right, now we're gonna get this started now. Oh boy, the girls, it's how staying here. Uh, today is a haul video. I'll show you some stuff that I got in today. Well, it's not really today. Uh, it's what I got in a couple days ago. Now, when I got these uh, items that I'm fixing to show now, I went to two different um, Toys R Us's, and the first one didn't have nothing. I really went there to find Gundam model kits. Um, Supposedly they were supposed to start selling them. Neither one of them had them, so. But I still got something. At Toy the Rest, I got this. Um, I used to be a big wrestling fan. I'm not that much into it anymore. I'll watch it occasionally, like around WrestleMania. That's about it. See who's coming from NXT and stuff like that. But yeah, this is basically a belt buckle thing that you can get. So there's a little kid and. And you can clip it on your shirt or clip it on your pant, uh, belt. I guess it's like a clothespin type thing, I guess. But yeah, I got that. Um, then this um, thing by Scarate. I don't know why I was going to say that for. A Maserati. Um, Gran Turismo. Uh, if I had the money to buy an uh, expensive car, this would be one of them. And an Aston Martin. I can remember the name of this one, but the Mazda is pretty, pretty hard because everything I, time I see it, I want to say this is a '98 Ma a Mazda or something like that. I want to call it a Mazda, and I know it's not a Mazda. It's um, Mazda. I almost forgot it again. I won't forget this car, but um, don't have any colors that I would get mine in if I had these cars. If I had the Turismo, it would be white. This would be silver because it matches these tail lights. This is my favorite thing about this car, these tail lights. I wish I wish you had these kind of tail lights for most other vehicles. And that's about it for the first Toys R Us. Well, I mean the only Toys R Us I stopped at the other only one that had anything Toys R Us was that I stopped at. Uh, I I bought another thing, but that's the last thing. Well, not the last thing, the last thing before the last thing. I got um because I saw it there at Toys R Us. I would, I'm like, I don't know, I don't want it. Then I decided, no, I'll get it anyway. But that's going to be the last thing. Uh, to me, it's going to be the the main resistance. Or however you say that. I'm going to just push this off to the back. The next thing I got is I went to the mall. Because there was a Toys R Us, at, I mean not Toys R Us, but a GameStop at a mall I went to at one time. It's been a while since I've went there, and then when I finally went there again, the GameStop closed, and then they're putting something else there, it looked like an adult shop. Because they had it blocked off, and then like some red drapes in the background of it, so I guess it turned into a, a sex shop or something, I don't know. It's kind of weird at a mall. But anyway, then I went and I got this cup of Gohan at a, not a Hot Topic, it's another place like Hot Topic. Uh, I went to Hot Topic after I left this place because I thought they got bought up by. I mean, I thought Hot Topic got bought up by this this people. And according to the person at um, Hot Topic, what it is is the place I went to is uh, an adult version of Hot Topic. So I guess you got that now for Hot Topic uh, type place. Uh, but Gohan's my favorite character in Dragon Ball Z. I got another thing with Gohan. You'll see that in a minute. I got that at Barnes and Noble. And then I got this uh, poster. Don't you just love what you see of that poster? <laughs> I'm gonna pick this camera up. And that's basically what the poster is. I have it right over the bed that I sleep in. Sleep on. Um, because the room that I have all my stuff in, uh, it doesn't seem like something that would fit, so I'm not gonna put it in here. And then we'll just put that in the very back, past everything else, and just pull everything forward so it lays there. And then I got another poster. It's a Sailor Moon poster. I have to get one of these frames. I will not, well, I did it with the Fallout 4 um, poster, but I will not do that with this poster or any other posters. If I can find a frame for I will put a frame in them, them in a frame. Um, well, what I did with the Fallout thing, because it's kind of old and gritty, so... Why even waste time putting it in a uh, case? Lay that there. Uh, eventually, I'll post it on my Instagram or my Twitter. 
the poster. I need to get a frame for that tomorrow. After the mall, Toys R Us, I went to Barnes and Noble. And I got a Goku figure. I plan on going to do like a review on these. But they're going to be in the same video because they're, they, they're really nothing special. They just sit there. Uh, but my give you my thoughts and things like that when I do do it. So yeah, you'll hear about those sooner or later. Then I also got this. It's a mystery, I call it a mystery box type thing. These are the options. You get the um, Barber Toast, the Alex, Charles Zaku, or the new uh, version of the original Gundam. And I guess you get, get kind of close in that. I guess you get two different versions of the, Gun, the Gundam, two different versions of Char, two different versions of that one, and of this one because it didn't come with the armor. And if you want to know which one I got, I got the Alex. This is what's in this box, is the Alex. I'm going to do a review and unboxing on that one. Uh, probably one of my next videos. Then after that, I'm going to do another uh, unboxing review on another kit. So we'll just put that there. I'll save my main, my main thing last of uh, Barnes & Noble. And then I got this bad boy right here. The original Gundam. Uh, to be honest with you, I hate the original Gundam. I hated it with a passion. Because... I can't, I can't give you a really a good excuse, reason why I hated it. I just... because they, I guess probably because they made so many kids of it. And I was like, oh my god, no one cares. I don't care. But we're going to sit this on the floor because it's such a big box. You know, probably start setting everything else sideways and stuff like that. And the last thing I got at old Barnes Noble... The ground, uh, the piece de resistance. It's the greatest thing I saw up there. It is this uh, model kit of Gohan, young Gohan. I say he, he's my favorite character. Uh, I know they're doing all this stuff about Goku. I really, I can't stand Goku. I hate Goku. I prefer Gohan over Goku. Um, they should have left it to where Gohan became the strongest, and he stayed the strongest. But you know. I guess they wanted to keep the show going, and more people like Goku than I like Gohan, so they kept Goku as the main badass for the show, but I still prefer Gohan over Goku and Vegeta. And another interesting thing about these kits, well, this, well I think it's interesting, it might not be interesting to y'all, and it, I might be wrong, but I think this is, these are probably the one of the first kits I started putting English on. Because this has been out since, because uh, it has like that little special thing for uh, Xenoverse 2. Xenoverse 2 has been out for a year now, almost about a year. And so that's what gets me thinking. It ha was in English first, because if you see, you probably can't see in this. I'm going to do, do my uh, unboxing. It's got English in it, so I think this is when they first started doing English in their kits. Alright, now we're going to leave that alone. Um... Alright, I'm like some of these in order of the day that uh when I got them. So I guess we'll go with the next thing that I got from my travel of places in my state. Um now I saw this and I wasn't gonna get it, but then after I stopped at Barnes and Noble and then I thought about more and more and more, I figured well, you know, I'll I'll do a review on it. I am not gonna do an unboxing because I already took it out of the box. And plus, anyway, you can see it from the front, so it, it wouldn't be much of a, to me personally, it would be a waste of time doing an unboxing, unless you can already see it in the box. That would be this adult size WWE Championship. And that's all plastic. Oops. I hit my dang lamp. It's all plastic. Like I said, I wasn't going to get it, because I have all the titles, I really don't like this version. I mean, it's alright, but it's not the best that there is, and I'm sorry if I have my camera. It's not the best model, I mean, it's not the first version that they ever had of the WWE Championship. I prefer um, the World Heavyweight Championship, the original, the big gold one like Ric Flair had. If they had that there, if I had a choice between this one and that one, or the United States and this one, or any of the other ones that I prefer over this belt, I would have got them. But this is the only one that had... Um, now, if you're hoping that you might go to your Toys R Us, you might go to your Toys R Us, you might find one. Um, 
but when they rang it up, it, I saw on the receipt it said promo, so I don't think they're going to have them very long. So if they have them, I suggest you go to your Toys R Us and you might find it. If you don't, then they are probably sold out of it and you probably won't ever be able to get one unless you go to a main event, you know, or I mean a, a live event or or online. But like this is completely made of plastic, even the, the belt's made of plastic. Uh, okay, it's like I said, it's all plastic, so it doesn't really, you know, fit around. I mean, it fits around you and all that kind of stuff, but you know, it's, it's stiff, stiff as I don't know what. So, yeah. But anyway, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna do a review on it. I mean, it looks cool on this camera. I like the way it looks on this camera. Uh, it looks like it does on TV. But I would say this uh, one thing about this before uh, I go on to the next thing. When this is on me, it looks like I'm a kid wearing his dad's belt. I mean, seriously. It looks like my dad was a wrestler, and he brought his title home, and I decided, well, I'm going to wear it like I'm champion. <laughs> and it looked like a damn child in it. So, but like I said, I still like wrestling. I would collect these, but I'm not uh, going to go to WWE.com and pay $300. And this one here is already uh, bent to fit around your waist. Most of them are not bent. You have to pay a lot of, you probably pay a little extra for the ones that are bent. bent. Uh, but you can bend, but those though you can bend them yourself though. Um, but anyway, go ahead and kind of wrap this up. It's uh, I only got like one bar left of my camera, and battery life wise. Uh, one of these days I might do a video on how I my new setup on how I'm um, doing these unboxings and openings and stuff like that. But this is the first video in this new format that I'm doing. Well, it's not really a format; it's just a new way instead of using the camera. I got an Elgato, and I got my camera plugged up to it and all that. I'll do that kind of video if someone wants to know. If, if they don't, then I probably won't even worry with it. Or I might worry with it anyway. Because I would kind of do tricks and tips and stuff like that. A pleasant surprise is that my kits that I ordered from USA Gun Store came in. And I just ordered some more kits uh, since doing this unboxing. But I got these from those from Gun to Planet. Because there's a few that USA Gun Store didn't have. And I wasn't planning on buying them but I bought them anyway but anyway this uh, version of the GM master grade um, this is basically the one that burning and his uh, buds had when they were in space so anyway uh, then we have the Nemo, uh, I I don't I hate this, I hate this one honestly. Would you to be honest? Would you hate this model? Uh, I plan on getting into Master Grade because the Master Grade actually makes it look good. This um the I mean, the regular colors I wouldn't get because I don't like the green. And um you see it looks white, but they're all like mint green. I don't know why they do that. I've read it be white, but they do it mint green. So whatever alright then we get into this next one I don't know if you can see my face hopefully y'all can't but if y'all can then oh well I might have to do this video all over again and then I got the Stark and that's Stark Jagan but the Jagan um it is what it is I like Stark Jagan I haven't I have it but I haven't built it yet I got a lot of them that haven't built and I don't I really rarely get around to building my kits so they're mostly just um, stock art basically because they're not being done anyway and then we get into this next one which is the Gelgoog Jagan if I'm not mistaken these are reprint this is a reprint because the plastic is it's basically seems like to me it's made of the same plastic that the Zaku 1 origin is made out of and it's a nice soft plastic that's easy to work with and you don't have to worry about nubs too badly, so hopefully this kit gets done pretty good. And then the last but not least um, kit that I have is the original GM, but uh, this is the 2.0. Um, now looking at the directions, the cool thing about this kit is this um, it's got inner frame for this, so these are, could be uh, individually moved. But with it though, from what I saw, let me find a picture. 
if you see right there, oops, sorry, you should have the option of basically a butt flap looking front or the, you know, individually side uh, down the middle. If I put this kit together, I'm going to have it like that and not like that. But uh, anyway, that is, if I'm not mistaken, that is it for this video. I'm trying to make sure I didn't forget nothing. I didn't. So, um, let's give y'all a uh, little bit of something to know on this Goku and this Broly figure. I normally don't like, like, if you get, like, the, um, those toys that they sell at Walmart at the, where the, uh, the magazines or stuff, not the magazines, but with the, the, um, Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon cards, you know, they have the big old fat heads, and they're like, car I don't know, I don't know, I don't really don't know how to explain it. But just go, you, you, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, the, the fat head things or whatever, that's what I'm gonna call them. Um, uh, I don't like those things, I have to hate those things with a passion. If someone gave me one for Christmas, I'm like, oh, thank you. That's, that's cool. Even though I don't like those, I hate those. those are, ugh. Of course, now I did see one that I uh, at Walmart that I kind of want to get, but it's not for the big fathead figures for the van. Uh, they got an 18 version of it. There's Mr. T in the van. I like the way the van looks. Might toss old Mr. T in the trash or give it to my nephew. Let my dog chew on it. I don't. I don't really care. Um. I always had one of the Ghostbusters. I might look at that one too. Just get rid of the Ghostbusters. Throw that stuff in the trash or do something with it. But anyway, um, these are going to be one video. And then I have another one. This is Goku, not Super Saiyan. So I'm going to uh, put that one in with the review. And there's going to be a quick review. If I ever do a, another video past that review, it's not really going to be a review. It's just going to be showing you and making it quick and fast and snappy it's just a quick little video for y'all for that day but uh anyway that is about it for this video uh, if you liked the video leave a like subscribe please i'm at four right now uh three are people that i know and one i don't know if i know that person or not i don't i, I don't know no one ever told me that they oh i joined your uh youtube subscriber list oh okay well i don't i like i don't know maybe someone from another country or another state or something like that i don't know but i'm just rambling uh, like I said, if you like the video, leave a like, uh, rate, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And I guess I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.